The step phase itself is easy to execute, and problems here always result when mistakes are made elsewhere. Mistakes in the final steps, preparation, takeoff, and hop phase all hide very well when they are committed, but appear in the step phase. You can think of the step phase in the same way as the check engine light on your car's dashboard. When it comes on, there's nothing wrong with the light on the dashboard. It's being triggered by some other problem, and tracing that problem can be a challenge. In this section, we hope to outline a system of diagnosis for these problems. The first step is examining the body's position at the instant the foot lands at the completion of the hop. A small amount of front side distance is needed here to create proper lift into the step phase. The front side distance should be identified as excessive, correct, or insufficient. Premature plantar flexion of the foot is a strategy jumpers use to compensate for instability, so if a toe first landing is present, the front side distance is considered insufficient. If the front side distance is excessive, this indicates that the entire hop leg cycle is too front side dominant. The excessive front side distance causes a jarring deceleration that ruins the step phase. Trace back to the grounding of the foot at takeoff and you are likely to see excessive front side distance there. 